Good afternoon and good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Kinney. We're going over the molarity test review. I'm going to call this Part 1B. In a previous video, I've answered these questions 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. We're going to work on the next few here. So the first request we had was to do number 8. And I'm going to assume when you got this, you've got the review sheet in front of you, so I'm not going to worry about if it's off to the side here. Solubility of a solution is 20 grams of solute. 20 grams of solute in 100, I'm going to put in 100 grams of H2O, and I'll just put solute. Normally we'd put what the solute was. Let's see, okay, so that's the solubility. Then it says 25 grams are actually dissolved in the solution. Is this solution going to be saturated, unsaturated, or supersaturated? Well, they're telling us that this solution has this solubility. It can hold 20 grams of solute at, um, in that much water. It's not telling us the temperature. We're assuming the same temperature. So then they say if we were to have 25 grams dumped into 100 grams of water, they want to know would we have a saturated, unsaturated, or supersaturated condition. Well, when, on this one right here, we got 20 grams in 100 grams. Th they gave this that this was the solubility of the solution. And when you get the solubility of the solution, whether it's given to you in a problem like this, or you look for whatever particular temperature, what the solubility is, that is, at, that is a saturated solution at that point. So this one is saturated. This one, we have more solute than 20 grams. So this is going to be... Um, supersaturated. Technically it's going to be a saturated solution because more than likely you're going to be having little particles begin to fall out. But based upon what we have here, this is going to be a supersaturated solution, meaning that we've got more than the n amount of solute that it can dissolve. So you're going to have crystals sitting down here. Some of this 20, you'll have 5 grams sitting down here on the bottom. Any questions there? Moving on. I was asked to go over number 12. What is the molarity? Molarity. Molarity equals moles over liter. Okay. What is the molarity of a solution containing 8 moles of solute in 600 milliliters of solution? Well, this one's pretty straightforward. They give you the moles, so that's going to be 8 moles. And you always have to do it in liters. If you're not sure how to, con that, how to convert milliliters into liters, usually we just move the decimal over 3. We can do the conversion that there are... 1,000 milliliters in one liter. And then this cancels out. And when you divide by 1,000, that means you move the decimal place over 3. So this becomes 0.6 liters. At this point, you can do the math. 8 divided by 0.6. Anybody have the answer there in the audience? 13.3. How much did you have? 13.3. Do you have somebody backs that up? Yeah. Anybody else? Okay, so it sounds like 13.3 moles per liter is the molarity of this solution. Question number 16 is the next one we were asked to go over and it asks you what is the mass of sucrose, that's table sugar. What is the mass of sucrose needed to make 400 milliliters of a 0.4 molar solution? So on this one right here we're going to set up our base equation once again. Please don't ever be afraid to use the base equation. Molarity, capital M, is equal to moles divided by liters. And in this problem, we want to know mass. So we are ultimately looking for grams. First, we got to figure out how many moles of it. Then we'll convert the moles into grams. So in this problem, we're looking for moles. So we need to get the L out of the bottom of the equation by multiplying both sides by L. So at this point, molarity, I'm going to call this mole equals liters times molarity. And the liters we have, now we have 400 milliliters, that's 0.4 liters. And we have a 0.4 molar solution. Okay, you out there with your calculators, 0.4 moles per liter is what molarity is. I like putting the units in because I can see, ah, yeah, that'll cancel, that'll cancel. Okay, so 4 times 4 is 16. Is that going to be, what's the answer there? Okay, what is 0.4 times 0.4?
It is 0.16. I'm not just double checking the calculator because I want to make sure we haven't got a, I don't have my calculator here. So now we're going to take this answer now because this answer is going to be in moles. So while we're verifying that, I'm going to now convert these moles into grams by saying that um, one mole of sucrose, I'm just going to abbreviate it sucrose, is 342 grams of sucrose. Okay, and I'm gonna, that'll cancel, that'll cancel. Now, can we agree, what is uh, 0.4 times 0 0.4? 0 0.16, okay, that's what I thought, but I wanna always be careful when I'm, so we got 0 0.16 times four, excuse me, 0 0.16 times 342. At that point, I'm just gonna go on, you can do the math, that's how you'd solve it. Yeah, so we're gonna go on, we're getting short on time. Question 18 was the next one that was asked to be Calculate and how many milliliters of a 0.2 normal solution are needed to make 300 milliliters? Okay, now this is we're making this. This is the solution we want to make. So we're going to call this volume two. Let me zoom out so we can see the whole problem. We're going to call this molarity two. How many milliliters? So that's going to be we're looking for volume two in this problem. And usually, I mean, there's not a hard, fast rule about it, but usually the most concentrated is of solution is usually going to be molarity 1 because that's the more concentrated you're going to dilute it down. The base equation here is M1V1 equals M2V2. We're looking for V2, so we got a V2 will end up equaling M1 times V1 divided by molarity 2. Now we just substitute in the numbers. We've got two molar solution. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, volume one there. Oh, I hate it when I goof up in front of everybody. Excuse me a second. Let me see, that's volume two. We're looking for volume one. Hey, no, 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 don't you groan out there. That's why I use pencils, okay? Hey, accidents happen, all right? All right, there, that's what we're doing, okay? And you didn't say anything out there. If you were just snickering to your partner, uh-uh, you go, excuse me, Mr. Kenny, you, uh, you, you didn't do it. Anyway, M2 is gonna be 0.5 molar times volume two. Now, on this one, we can go ahead and put 300 milliliters. That's gonna be okay. And let's see, we gotta divide by molarity one. That'll be two molar solution because now that's 0.5, I gotta make sure I don't lose that decimal. So the molars cancel out, oh, don't cancel out the five. So the answer to this problem is going to be half of 300 is 150 divided by two, which is that 75 yep. milliliters of solution. So 75 is a perfectly good answer, unless on the test all the answers are in liters, how many liters would 75 milliliters be? Move the decimal over three. 0 0.075 liters, so just be aware of that. Number 19, it's a similar problem where you're going to use this base equation here, M1V1 equals M2V2. What volume of a concentrated hydrochloric acid solution will be needed to make 400 mils of a six molar? So on this one here, we got to be careful because this is the more concentrated one. What volume of this is needed to make that? So on this one here, we've got a more concentrated solution over here. We're gonna call this M1. This will be volume one. This will be, let's see, hello there. This is gonna be molarity two. And we're looking for volume two. So when we rearrange that, let me make sure I got this right. And again, as long as these two are paired together. So we got, uh, let's see, rearrange the equation, looking for V2. So molarity one is six molar. Mol uh, volume one is 400 milliliters. Volume two, is let's see here oh i did it again i divided by the wrong one i'm looking for volume two not molarity two. Oh, this is so embarrassing to do this in front of the students 
Hey, why didn't you say anything? Okay, we're looking for volume 2, so you divide by M2. There, that's good. Now I can substitute. M1 is 0.4 liters. Volume, molarity is going to be, let's see, 6 molar. Divided by M2, 5 molar. The molarities cancel out. And let's see, we're going to have... Well, 0.4 times 6 divided by 5. So you can work it out from there and get the, what, how many, um, and this one, I did 0.4. So my answer will be in liters the way I've set it up because I put that in as 0.4. Okay, let's see if I can do 23 without uh, hanging myself here. How are we doing on time? Okay, it's going to do, if the percent mass, let's see, percent mass is equal to grams of sol um, ute divided by total solution. Mm -hmm. Gram, grams total solution times 100%. Some of you on your quiz forgot that part. So in this problem, what is the mass of solute in the solution? We know that we have 5% over here. And we know that now we got to read this carefully. If the percent for solute is 5% and the mass of the solution is 500 grams, so we know we got 500 grams of total solution. We're solving for x, and we get, cannot forget to multiply this by 100. So when we rearrange this equation, we need to get x all by itself. So we need to first multiply by 500 grams. That'll multiply 500 grams over here. That'll cancel out there. We need to divide by 100% on both sides of the equation, 100%. And that cancels out here. X will be equal to, okay, I'm going to cancel out 100 there, 100 there. It looks like 5 times 5 is going to be 25. Um, let's see here. Oh, you know what? Did I put, uh, what did I do? Grams there. Oh, sorry. The percentage numbers cancel out. The grams stay there. So we got 25 grams of solute. So my zeros canceled out there. My percentages did. I got to be careful not to cancel out that gram there. And lastly, what is the percent by volume? Uh, percent by volume is going to be milliliters of solute solution divided by total solution, uh, milliliters of total solution. And I'm abbreviating that, times 100%. Don't forget that. Some of you try to do the, that in your head, you're, you're going to make a mistake. So what are we looking for in this problem? What is the percent by volume of ethanol um, when the final solution, when 65 milliliters of ethanol is diluted to a volume. So they're telling you in this problem, the total volume is going to be 225 milliliters. you got to read these carefully. You've got 65 milliliters of ethanol solution. So now to solve this, it's going to be 65 divided by 225. The milliliters will cancel. And then you're going to multiply by 100. And uh, do we have people that did that and give us an answer? I don't have a calculator with me. If not, you, actually, I'm not going to. You can do that part there. So I hear somebody had what? 28? 28%. So I'm hearing from the audience here it was 28%. Okay, now, 28% ethanol solution. Be careful because the test might have an answer that says 28% ethanol, 28% total solution. So make sure you know you've calculated the amount of ethanol. And I'm going to stop this now.